Welcome to Senior Break. I am Marie May from Addison Township Senior Center and... And I'm Dawn Medici with Oxford Township Parks and Recreation Senior Center. And today our special guest is Mary Neighbor, a president and CEO of Pace of Southeast Michigan. Welcome. Welcome, Mary. Thank you, ladies. Thank you for having me. Yes, well, Pleasure we're happy to, to have you have you here. Kind of questions for you today. Yes, mm -hmm. so, well, um, why don't you um, tell us a little bit about yourself okay. and um, how you um, became interested in PACE and a little bit about what PACE stands for. Okay, so I'm going to start with what PACE stands for. Okay. okay. PACE stands for Program of All-Inclusive Care for the Elderly, and I'm going to talk about what that means. Um, in just a few minutes. Sure. But um, so I'm Mary Neighbor, and I've had the privilege of being in healthcare my entire career, okay. which is over 40 years. I um, I'm the mother of four adults who have now multiplied into a large <laughs> family, <laughs> and I have two grandchildren and one on the way, and oh. they're a very important part of my life. Yes. Um, my daughter-in-law is from Oxford. I have to put that plug in there. Okay. Um, yes, right. and. So I've had a long career in healthcare. I spent 33 years in an Ascension Health System. I don't know if you're yeah. familiar, Ascension Health System. And um, in a senior executive role for many, many years. And my mother became ill, started to show signs of dementia, had a minor stroke. Uh -huh. And I thought, this is a good time for me to pause and do something else. Okay. Take care of my mom. Get, you know, I'm from a family of eight. Wow, big I'm the family. oldest girl, five <laughs> brothers, two sisters at the end, you know. So um, bottom line is um, my mom started to show this signs of dementia. I quit my job and I started to consult. So I consulted for a couple of years. And what I learned, and my husband's an internist, so here we are, both of us, long-term Term healthcare medical, people. Right? Right? Yes. We had great difficulty um, navigating health care for my mom. You'd think we'd have all the answers because we know how to navigate. Mm -hmm. No, it was very difficult. So I learned a, a very important lesson that healthcare is not always set up for the older person and their needs. And that took me, stumbled me into PACE. Okay. okay. And that's how I became the CEO of PACE. And it's not always the same for every senior either. No, it is not. So you have to, have, your story has to be told to a person that understands what you need. Exactly. Yeah. Right. And that's what I love about the PACE model, is that it's very unique. We're the health insurance plan, and we're the comprehensive care provider, and we wrap our arms around the individual and provide the care that they need. Okay. And so it's very customized, it's very relationship-based, because they know who's taking care of them, right. and our team know who they're taking care of. And it's ongoing, hopefully, to the end of their life. Every person we take care of has been certified by the state of Michigan to be nursing home eligible, but they want to remain in their home. Wow, that's That's, that's a key. very important, that's, that's a very key piece. Yep. So they want to remain in their home. And so our goal and our team's goal is to do all that is needed to keep them independent in the community for hopefully as long as they wish, right? right. It's really, yes. it's what matters to them. Right. Um, so the way the program works is that we have health centers. All right. And inside a health center, there is a full urgent care clinic with primary care. There is um, a full rehab gym with physical therapists, occupational therapy for ongoing rehab. And then there's a full day center that has meals, uh, life enrichment activities to stimulate cognition, That's all those kinds, and socialization. Right. That's key. And then we have buses, a whole bus system that transports our, part we call them participants because they're participating in care, they're not patients. Um, we, par we transport them to and from their home and to and from their medical appointments. We have responsibility for all of their care 24 hours. Okay. Many of them have many complex chronic illness and including mental health issues. So in our centers, we have pharmacists, we have doctors, we have um, well, nurse practitioners and mid-levels, as we call them. So it's like an all-in-one. All-inclusive, one-stop one stop shop. shop. Okay, that's great. But they're still living at home. But they're living at home. They don't live with us. So we make sure, and we have home care. So we make sure, a typical day might be, if someone is wheelchair-bound, we might send in a home care aid, get them showered, dressed, and up, so that the bus can pick them up, 
and bring them to the center for activities, to go into the clinic, to be seen in the rehab, whatever it is they need, mm -hmm. and then to take them home. And if they need meals at home, they get transported with meals at home. So once they're signed up with you, does somebody else make those schedules for them? Like, do they have to ask, do they have to call you for somebody to come in and help them get dressed? Or do you know their schedule and you already know that they need the help, so some, you just tell the, the senior that someone's coming in to help them? We, we basically, they're part of a care plan process. Okay. So when they come into the program, every discipline, and we have you know registered dietitians, and every discipline assesses their needs. Okay. okay. And then a care plan is created with them. Okay. And then we know what is needed. So okay. some need home care, not everybody. So they right. don't have to make a phone call and say, no. I need this today and I need to go to the dentist tomorrow night. That's a big plus. No, we, we would make plus. those appointments for them. Okay. And, and when they're seen by our primary care, you know, they kind of order, they do the ordering for, okay. you need dental, yes. you need to see the cardiologist, you yep. need, and, the, and then our scheduling people begin that process of scheduling. Oh, that's and that's great. all based upon that plan yes, that you come up with. Yes, all based on the care plan. On that care because plan. Because that's a, that's a big concern of seniors is that, what doctor appointment do I have tomorrow? Right. Did I forget this appointment or, you know, did I make this appointment? So that, that's a biggie. Yeah. Right. That's a biggie. Well, PACE does all of that, that we do, their meds as well. Um, as I said, home care, meals, if they need their laundry done, we do that. I mean, mm -hmm. we do everything that keeps them safe in their home. And we're funded by Medicaid and Medicare. Okay. So the people that enroll, they mm -hmm. must meet eligibility for the program. Okay. And that eligibility is 55 and older. Mm -hmm. yeah. They must be safe in their home with our services. They must be certified by the state of Michigan as nursing home eligible. That means they could all be in the nursing home. Okay. Yeah. And, um, and then majority of them must meet Medicare requirements, Medicaid requirements. So typically um, that income level threshold mm -hmm. is $2,742 a month and it moves every okay. year. So if they make more per month than that, right. they may not be eligible. Okay. 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 They can be there in their own home, they can have a car, but they can't have more than 2,000 in assets. Is that um, wow. this me? So it's intended for low income. Okay, is it that 27 per person? Or is that like if someone's married? It's 2742 per, per person. Okay. Per person, okay. Mm -hmm. So they okay. would each enroll in, let's say they're a married couple, which yes. we do have, yes. they enroll individually. Individually, okay. not yes. together. Yes, yeah. not together, okay. not together. Okay, all right. Um, so when somebody comes to you and they want to know if they're eligible um, and to get enrolled and let's say they don't meet the criteria, um, then what is done at that time? Like what kind of, uh, what do you share with them? Do you provide them other resources, that type That's of thing? That's a great question, yes. Uh, um, I do see we've got to go to break. So okay. when we get back from break, we'll We'll follow up on that question and you can share with us um, if they're not eligible, what, okay. what resources you have available to, to share with those. So we'll be right back. Canine Stray Rescue is Oxford's own local dog rescue. Each year they take in hundreds of dogs and bring them into suitable homes. A certified nonprofit organization, Canine Dog Rescue strives to give pound dogs a new leash on life. To donate, adopt, or even volunteer, call them at 248-628-0435 or go to their website, dogsaver.org, and click on the Canine Stray Rescue League link.
Welcome back to Senior Break. Before the break, um, I had asked Mary about if um, someone that you're sitting down with and trying to determine the eligibility, and let's say they're not eligible, then then what happens? Uh, what does PACE do for the for that guest at that time? Okay, that's a great question, and. Um, we're highly regulated by Medicare and Medicaid. So there are certain things we must do and then there are certain things we do because it's the right thing to do. Right. And most of the reason that we cannot enroll people has to do with that income level that I talked about. All right. Their income level might be $5 more and so they don't meet it. Mm -hmm. Yet they have complex illness, they need the support, they need the care model. And so what our team will do is connect them to the next best resources that may help them. Okay. Um, and that's individual. You know, that depends on what people can afford. Um, our program is working at providing some of these services in a private pay way okay. so that we can advance to people who have Medicare only and maybe their income is too high, but they have the needs. The current rule, the cost is, um, is prohibitive. It's, mm -hmm. it's almost $5,000 mm -hmm. per wow. person per month to get, to get all the services of the program. Mm -hmm. That's a Medicaid requirement if they're not gonna be eligible for Medicaid. So these are the things that we're working on changing legislatively um, from an ad advocacy perspective and public policy perspective nationally because PACE programs nationally, and I didn't mention that, but there are 150 um, across the country right. in 32 states, serving 70,000 seniors and growing. Right. And so there's a great need mm -hmm. in um, what I'm gonna call seniors that have Medicare only. Mm -hmm. There are millions to be served. And so there's a lot of work and advocacy to promote access to the PACE care model for those people. Wow. Yeah. yeah. What would seniors do on, on our part to try to help you the advocates that. that's a great question um it would be writing writing your state legislators right it would be writing national legislators there are policies um in place there's some um there's the casey act that's been proposed where it would have we'd have access to medicare only recipients would have access to the pace model so they're kind of stagnant because all this other noise gets in the way mm -hmm. um, but there's a huge need Mm -hmm. um, seniors that have complex illness that are Medicare only don't have these services available to them wow. in the same way. Wow. And so that's what I, I, that's part of my work is to continue to advocate for that. Mm -hmm. And any senior voice that can write on that or mm -hmm. call it would be a great thing. All that's right. Good. Well, thank you for, for sharing that information. And okay, so let's go back to when we're doing the eligibility. Yes and I am eligible. Now what happens? Okay, great question. So as I said, we're highly regulated, so there are rules that we follow. And we have a whole team of community liaisons that are out in the community talking to seniors in their centers, talking to apartment buildings, talking to churches, so that they become available and knowledgeable about the model. So let's say they come in to the model, they meet all the eligibility. First thing that happens is that our team goes to their home and assesses their home, making sure their home is safe. Okay. And that's done by a nurse and a social worker. And that what they need is identified. Then our care team, so we call it an interdisciplinary care team, and it's made up of you know, all the different disciplines I talked about earlier. They hear the person's background, and then they begin to assess them. So every discipline will assess what that person needs, the team comes together, and with the participant and their family, if they want to participate, will create a care plan. Okay. And then so, from that care plan, that's how they start to provide the care. So they might say, you really could benefit from coming into the center because maybe they live alone three days a week. And they need that socialization. They need the socialization. Okay. They need the rehab. They could use the new step every time that they're there, keep them moving, right. and not sedentary in their apartment. Okay, so you're talking about what the individual person needs. Yes. To, okay, what if there's something wrong with the house? Like they need a ramp or they need, you know, something like that. Do you 
tell them, you know, who to go to for help or who helps them? Great question. So if they're eligible and in the program, our social worker mm -hmm. would submit to our, we have a whole philanthropy fundraising arm called the Community Giving Fund. And we have connected with relationships of very generous people in the communities that we serve. Okay. And they donate money. That's so nice. Yes. And so what happens is, because the program is funded in a very capitated way, and I'm going to talk a little bit more about that, okay. we don't have the dollars to put a ramp up or right. to replace a mattress or to fix a broken refrigerator or a leaky roof or that sort of thing. But these giving dollars, that, that's what we do. Okay. That so our matter. social worker will submit the request. Mm -hmm. There's a committee that reviews it. And then we'll replace refrigerators. We'll start wow. hot water. We'll replace hot water tanks. Okay. We'll fix roofs. We'll repair porches. All sorts of things that keep them safe in their home because they're not safe. Mm -hmm. Right if they have a broken handle and they can't get down their steps. Right. They're not safe if they don't have a ramp and they're wheelchair bound. Mm -hmm. So that's the holistic approach to care okay. that we take. Okay, yeah. that's great. It really is good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and thank, yeah. you know, thank goodness for the donors to help with yes. that. Yes, we're very grateful. We have many generous donors and sponsors, companies that our company deals with right. that will do additional sponsorship. Wow. So we just had a we actually just had a fundraising breakfast last week. Oh. And raised money for this fund. All right. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. That's mm -hmm. really good. Very really good. good. Very good. And um, what um, else can you tell me about or tell us about or let's let's share how do they get in contact or like how do they access access Okay. Um, Okay. Getting, um, having their uh, el el eligibility looked at get and, on the list. and get on your list. Okay, so we have no wait list, just okay. so you know, there's no oh. wait list. Um, they can call our number, 855-445-4554. They can go to our website, which is pacesemi.org. And that's how you can find all sorts of information about the geography we serve. So we serve yes. primarily Wayne, Oakland and Macomb counties, most of the zip codes. We have all the zip codes in Macomb County, majority in Oakland, except for a far edge, and um, in Wayne as well. And is there, where are these centers? Okay, so that's a great question. So we have eight centers currently. We expect to have 10 or 11 in the next couple of years. Mm -hmm. um, and they are located in the different cities where there's a concentration of seniors okay. that would meet our eligibility. Gotcha. So they might be lower income. They might have chronic illness. Mm -hmm. They live in their homes, you know. So we have one in Dearborn. We have one, uh, we have, let me see. We have one on the east side of Detroit, off of Jefferson near downtown. Mm -hmm. Okay. We have uh, one on the Detroit Northwest side uh, in Detroit. We have, um, one in, in th we have three in Macomb County, Sterling Heights, East Point, and Clinton Township. Great. We have two in Oakland County, Pontiac, which would be close to Oxford, mm -hmm. and um, uh, Southfield. Okay. Yeah. Southfield. Was that eight? Mm -hmm. Uh, it sounds, yeah, sounded okay. like it. And these yeah. are the sites that have all that you had mentioned before in them. Everyone okay. has, we have to have that. So okay. what happens is they take care of approximately the 300 people that would be assigned to their center. Okay. So there's a cap for how many they can right. serve out of that center. Okay. Some are larger. There's a Detroit one that has 400 mm -hmm. capacity, and there's a, our Southfield has a 400 capacity. Okay. Okay. The majority of them have 300 capacity. Okay. Wow, that's amazing. That's really By the good. time right. we have all of our centers in place, we'll be able to serve over 3,000 people. We mm -hmm. currently serve 1,700 today. Wow, that's great. That's a lot. And we employ about 800 people. Yeah. Well, yeah. Of all healthcare disciplines, AIDS, drivers, um, as I said, dietitians, nurse, nurse case managers, social right. workers, behavioral health specialists, yes. we have a psychiatrist, doctors, mm -hmm. you know, all, you, you name it, we probably have it. Mm -hmm. That's good. That's a big, so it's a very complex yes. model because what we're doing is providing that care outside of an institution. We're doing it so people can stay home. Stay yeah. home. Which is where they want to be. Yeah. Right. right. That's where it I want to be. That's where I want right. to be. Right. That's where I want to exactly. be. Exactly. Okay. So. 
Wow, this is a lot of great information. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And I, do you have any other questions? I don't right now. Okay. But, uh, I'll All be right. calling you. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. 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 Well, you. thank you so much, Mary. Um, we uh, welcome you to our health and wellness fair in thank you. end of October. All right. um, and thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having us thank you, Mary. and for learning about PACE and help spreading the word. Yeah. Thank you. Great. You're All right. Great to meet you, ladies. You nice too. to meet you. Okay. Thank you, and we'll be right back. Abigail Adams here, just checking up on our springtime goat work on the Pollyann Trail. What's that? Trash on our beautiful trail? Oh, that makes me so happy. We've got so many trash cans all over the trail. It's a beautiful day on the trail, but oh no, this could end badly. Wow, that sure was nice. Folks know not to hog the road. Even goats share. Hey, that gets my goat. Where are you going? Even I have to be out here on a leash. You sure are a nice dog, but stay away from those weeds. I'm going to eat them later. What a beautiful gift, our Pollyann Trail. I've got to hit the trail. I hope you will too. Your Marine Corps' way of life is to defend the American way of life. Every day, we take a stand for our nation, for each other, for us all. The few, the proud, the Marines. It was great to have Mary here with us and share with us about what Pace Southeast Michigan is all about and what it has to offer. The good thing is too is that I, I do think a lot of seniors don't realize how much is out there for them. You just all of a sudden something happens in your life and you feel helpless and who do I turn to? Right. And the people that have been coming on the show have been very, very helpful. Right, and they have provided a lot of great information. Good information. But you know what I really loved about PACE is that the focus is on the participant. Yes. A pl care plan is built for them. For them. And not it's not something that's just general. Mm -hmm. um, it's based on that um, participant's needs. And And... The fact that they take care of it, they make the appointments. You don't have to remember right. day to day. Right. They probably will remind you the day before, which sure. is really what you need. Yeah. But you don't have to remember in two weeks I have an appointment, and did I miss it? Right. Or you know, and, and that's yeah. that's a big thing. And the transportation, you don't have to worry about um, yes. not being able to get to where you need to be. Yes. And I love that it's that it's. Uh, based upon the focus on you, but being in your home. Because mm -hmm. a, a lot of seniors have uh, kids that are live out of state. 
Right. And you know, you can't always depend on no. your kids to take you everywhere. I know. This is really good. It's a good program. It's a good so program. anybody has any additional questions or want some more information on Pace Southeast Michigan, please um, visit their website at Pace uh, S E M I dot org or contact them at 855 445 Four five five four. <laughs> That's a hard one. It is a hard one. Get somebody, one two, yeah. Three, so five fives. Well, I mean, now um, this kind of leads into what we've got coming up here in the end of October at the Oxford Senior Center. We have um, our health and wellness fair on Friday, October the twenty seventh, from eleven a.m. to one p.m. I invite you all to come. Um, out to uh, the Senior Center and um, uh, PACE representative will be there. We have uh, Trinity Health, we have HealthQuest of Oxford coming, we have Metamora PT, we have Seniors Helping Seniors, um, we have uh, uh, I believe uh, Medicare uh, representative Belinda, I believe, is going to be mm -hmm. be there, and uh, there'll be blood pressure checks. There'll be in in immunizations, um, just a lot of resources, a lot of good information, information um, and. And, and maybe for some, there might be a giveaway. And it doesn't have to be just seniors that come, right? No, it could their be kids, anybody. The family can come because sure. that's, that's who the senior turns to, right. their family. And they say, help me get this and that. So it's, it's important right. for the family to come out and, and find out what's out there for yes. their mom and their dad and their grandma and grandpa. Exactly. Yep. Yes. And really um, we'll also have some of our um, instructors and volunteers mm -hmm. um, out sharing some of their programs and services yes. that they offer um, to, to invite everybody to come out and be mm -hmm. active or just come out to our center. Mm -hmm. So it'll be a good morning. It'll be nice. Well, in Addison, we are working on our pickleball. Oh, yes, that's right. Uh, it's How it's is, coming nicely. Is it? And uh, they have a walking um, court, I want to say, a, walking like a path, pathway, a path pathway. that's going to go around it. Oh, nice. And that's, that, they're working fast on it. It's getting wow. done fast. And a volleyball court will be going in. That, I'm not sure when, but the pickleball is almost, well, I don't want to say almost done, but it looks like it's, it's almost done. Almost mm -hmm. done. Yes. We'll have to plan another trip out to yes. Addison to yes, do to the show out it. at Addison, and maybe mm -hmm. we can be on the pickleball courts oh, yeah. and, and have, nice. our, have our next, yeah. or have a show. Yeah. That, that's exciting. Even the walking path. Yes. That's really good, because you can do that in the winter or, or the, the summer because the pickles outside right you know so, so. yeah we're excited well, about that well that's exciting yeah well yeah. great yeah so all right well that's it for today's show we again want to thank mary neighbor the president and ceo of pace southeast michigan and thank you uh, marie oh thank you don yes it's been great mm -hmm. and happy halloween yes happy halloween and happy we'll, halloween everybody we'll be back in a few weeks bye now